The Archie Show is an animated television series produced by Filmation Studios and broadcast on the CBS network from 1968 to 1969. Like the television pilot, these Archie cartoons feature Archie Andrews and his teenage friends from Riverdale High School. Food lover Jughead Jones, sneaky prankster Reggie Mantle, sweet girl next door Betty Cooper, and the fiery well-to-do socialite Veronica Lodge. While you boys look at the ships, Betty and I will wander through that cute little store over there full of sailors. These five friends would come together on the series as a pop rock band called The Archies. You might be familiar with their number one hit song, Sugar Sugar, written by Jeff Barry and Andy Kim, which was featured on the follow-up series, The Archie Comedy Hour, and stood at the top of the Billboard pop charts for four weeks in the year 1969. In the year 1990, in the TV movie To Riverdale and Back Again, Jughead Jones would sing a rap version of this song along with his son Jordan to help his son win over the girl of his dreams. You are my candy girl, and you got me sugar. Aw, oh, honey, honey. You are my candy girl, and you got me rocking you. Break it down with me. Why do you say this to me when you know I will kill you for it? The first time the band The Archies would show up in the line of then-current Archie comic books was in issue 60 of Life with Archie in April of 1967. Seeing the Riverdale gang come together to play as a band definitely reminded me of Zack Attack from Saved by the Bell, and the weekly songs The Archies would play every episode are similar to the format of a series I actually grew up with, Gem and the Holograms. The Song of the Week was part of the typical format presentation for The Archie Show, along with a Dance of the Week segment for the audience to watch and learn the bubble gum. Of course, I wasn't around back in the 60s, but I can't imagine anybody was actually out there doing the bubble gum or any of these other ridiculous dances the writers would come up with week after week. With your arms now, are you starting to understand how to do the bubble gum? The bubble gum. Also on hand in the town of Riverdale, providing adult guidance to the main cast are Principal Weatherby and the gang's homeroom teacher, Miss Grundy. There's the bag! Plus, there is Jughead Jones's sheepdog, who serves as the Archie's mascot, Hot Dog. He's also a key ingredient to the comic hijinks in this series, often thinking to himself in voiceover and keeping the rest of the gang from falling prey to Reggie Mantle's pranks. Hot Dog would first appear in the Archie comics themselves in Pep Comics number 224 by December of 1968. Thank you, partner. Oh, yes, of course. Ah, uh, here you are. See what I mean? I get tips. Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. Resident science whiz and all-around genius Dilton Doily could be seen on the show coming up with all manner of zany inventions. Dilton Doily first appears within the pages of the March issue of Pep Comics, number 78, in 1950. Oh heavens, yes. Even we geniuses must do homework. However, instead of using books, I have invented a computer. The Riverdale gang would also help Veronica's business tycoon father, Mr. Hiram Lodge, with his various enterprises on the series, such as running a hotel or working a department store. Hiram Lodge first appears within the pages of Pep Comics issue number 31 in September of 1942. Another of my models, uh, share and share alike. Not too dissimilar to Bayside High Hangout the Max, Pop's Chocolate Shop is run by the owner it's named after, Terry Pop Tate, who was first seen inside the pages of Pep Comics issue number 46 in February of 1944. 
Readers were finally able to see the outside entrance to Pops by 1945 in Archie Comics issue number 12. Kids and their newfangled dancers. <laughs> Groovy man, Groovy. Although primetime television cartoons such as the Flintstones and the Jetsons were the first to implement laugh tracks, the Archie show would be the first Saturday morning television cartoon series to do so. For a while. I also find it very interesting how much influence it had on future series like Scooby-Doo. Hey, Scooby! In particular, the episodes Who's Afraid of Reggie Wolf, where Reggie leads the gang into a spooky, fright-filled mineshaft, and Groovy Ghosts, where the gang's clubhouse, donated by Hiram Lodge, is thought to be haunted, just turns out to be another prank by Reggie Mantle. But don't worry, gang, Archie turns the tables on him soon enough. These plots just about sum up every episode of Scooby-Doo ever made. Not to mention having a talking dog, even if only in voiceover. Is he kidding? Stay behind in this spooky place! <laughs> Originally, the Scooby Gang was not only to solve mysteries, but would be part of a pop rock band as well. Even though the rock band angle was ultimately dropped, if not for Filmation's Archie show, there wouldn't have been a Scooby-Doo from Hanna-Barbera in the first place. And things finally came full circle, as Scooby-Doo would heavily influence another set of Archie characters from the comic She's Josie, which eventually led to the television series entitled Josie and the Pussycats. I must admit that these cartoons are way before my time, and I didn't even watch them growing up or even in reruns, so they don't really have any nostalgic sway over me one way or the other. Actually, truth be told, I grew up watching the new Archies on NBC, so I must confess some surprise in hearing Veronica Lodge with the accent of a southern belle, having been used to her stuck-up valley girl accent all these years. But either way, it still sort of makes sense. What are you talking about? needs her little helpers. Maybe you can do my hair. Oh, Archie Keans, you little old doll. You know how I love to spend money. They haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, and friggin' Prince Adam is always such the jerk on these cartoons, and I never even knew. This is voice actor John Irwin, who also plays Reggie Mantle, along with Ronald Redford, the rich louse on the Thing cartoon. Get it, you're chicken. You're afraid my incredible skill and grace on skates will make you look silly. <laughs> I mean, who knew He-Man was such a dick? Oh. Did somebody mention my specialty? All that being said, while I might not get the same glee as I would rediscovering an old childhood favorite Saturday morning cartoon series, it's clear this series had an awesome influence and impact on those great cartoons that were to follow. On me. Break it down for me, fella. I'm gonna make your life so sweet. Rock it, moving, shaking, stuff. I'm gonna rock your world complete. Rock it, moving, grooving, say what? Pour a little sugar on it. Rock. Sugar. Ah, oh, honey, honey. You are my candy girl. And you got me rocking you. Break it down, won't you please? Sugar. Ah, oh, honey, honey. You are my candy girl. And you got me rocking you. Break it down, come on. And you got me. And you got me. And you got me. Break it down, won't you please? Kill the rest. Starting with him. <laughs>